1989. Rod Stewart, have I told you lately that I dig you? 29 after 11. Radio 2000, our music, your memories. We have special guests in the studio. Yeah. You know, once in a while you hear a story that just, just touches you in a special way. And you know, on a Wednesday on this show, we try to get people jobs. And when you hear of someone that got themselves a job, it always just touches you in, in, in a very, very special way. Uh, we have uh, in our studio, uh, Spongseni. How are you doing, Otiam? Ukraine, Otiam. Sure, sure. Ubuya, Pekai. Mpume, Zondi. E Zondi. E Soweto. Sure. Ba, Pekai, Gatia. Abako, Nekai. Bako. Kono, Kono, Andi, Nofuto, Mtai. Nyagwa, Ziazi. No yeah. born alive, two like way SAPC. Sure, oh, a yeah. Emma Robotine, exactly. Yeah. And we were born asking for food and asking for e, whatever that someone has. Uh, small change. Small change. Yeah. How long have you be, been doing that? Uh, three years. Three years. Sure. And uh, how, how tough was uh, Lempilo Le? Okay. Okay. And And right. Inchele <laughs> What a thing, Matella. Push and ting as in our figure, as I call. Yea, get down in motto. Eh, I got set a long bong and fifty rand or tie. Not soon for no right demanding oozing ID. Yes, a man veda, mandy or my car, the way with thee. A man living on a madubia, a car, a living pond. Eh, Friday. Yeah. 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 I thought, let me take this car out and take it for a drive. And yeah. I've been working on the clutch and the gearbox. And, and I got stuck there um, 
just just down the uh, um, Kingsway. Yes, uh, yes. Down at the bottom there, close to the Via Station. You know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was d down the road, and and I was stuck, and it was Saturday afternoon. It was like early evening, you know. So, yes. And I thought, okay, well, the best way to get, I must try and push this car back to the dealership yeah. know, to get back, and then. Um, and then uh, uh, Tom came and, and he came and helped me. Yes. Well, wow. I call him Tom because that's his street name, right? Yes. Everybody knew him as Tom. <laughs> so uh, he's um, in the area. And uh, yeah, he, he just dropped everything and, and, and started pushing the car and helped me to push the car back. Yeah. And it's a long push. It was about a, a kilometer. So wow. we were out of breath. And, we and, it, it, which, and which car is it? Oh, th that car it was an old Jaguar. And so I know I'm a Volvo dealer, but it's an old Jaguar. And they, they and they are not light. They they, they they use real steel. Yeah, no, that car's heavy. <laughs> heavy car. <laughs> we were struggling. Yes. Uh, so um, and then some some places was a bit downhill, so the car could run, you know. Yeah, and uh, sorry, I need he to continue do this. he continue uh, <laughs> to push us and and uh, all the way back and into the dealership and uh, so I said let's just go back to the office and try and leave it there because I wasn't going to make home, and uh, he was there straight away helping me. Uh, push the car, get it back, making sure everything's it's okay. okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, really nice. You know? And I guess, um, I guess that's where you felt. Maybe, maybe I should try this guy out. Yeah, you know, at first we started discussion with him. You know, it's stuff on the streets. Yeah. And and uh, I know for him, it's uh, it's going to be a kind of a hard road ahead. Yeah. Because, you know, so let's give him a chance. So I thought, let's give him a chance. Let's try him out as a petrol pump attendant. Uh. Uh, and uh, so I thought, okay, fine, uh, go home. We'll get you some clothes. We'll get you all the stuff you need. Let's see if you can clean up. Yeah. And go fetch your ID so we can employ you. Because exactly. ID, we yes, can't we can't you. do much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And uh, and so so he did all that. He went home. He fetched his ID. He came back. Yeah. This, and, uh, yeah. He says that the grandma wasn't particularly excited about giving giving him your ID. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't believe it. No, didn't believe it. Yeah. So. Um, he, he brought he, he brought his ID back and then you know we needed to start working on him but you know you can see uh, for now I think he has the potential to, yes, to yes, stuff. Yes. I, mean, I mean life doesn't work out for everybody no it doesn't and, uh, you know like our our, our Springbok coach Rassi Erasmus uh, yes, he, he yes. said he said I mean, in an interview he said pressure is not having a job yeah you know and we must be inspired by these people and try and help where we can. Absolutely, you know, so, this is a, a really special story, and yeah. and because it's a it's a familiar face around the SABC building, because it's a, a your dealership is right down the road, yes, literally. Yes. We, you know, in, in garage is, down the road. exactly, yes. yeah. It's on the corner. Yeah, so that's why when when he walked in, I immediately recognized him. I immediately knew exactly who he was. Uh, so how long has he been, has he been with you now? No, he's only started this week. Okay. So. Um, uh, is it two weeks now? Yes. Three days. Three days. Three days. Yeah, so it's not on Monday. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, um, and and the staff has really embraced this opportunity, yes. you know. So everybody has taken him to heart and, and they've received him with so much love, you know, and, and affection to help him to see if we can help him uh, turn his life around. Spong say, are you excited about the job? Yes, boss. Yes, eh? I'm very excited about this job. We are spying. Are you? You are challenging. Yeah, <laughs> what have What have you learned so far in the few days that you've been working there? Yeah. Who's over right? Who's over right? Don't you have me? You know, in, in Swahili. You said it. You said it. That's the theme for the show today. You know, just to, to, to help you out, Vic, he says we must never forget to pray. Uh, we, we should put uh, God first. And, and, that's, and clearly that's, that's what got him... That moment, because we call the miracle moments in our life experiences where you had to get stuck for all this to happen. Yes, and, and receive help from a person you know I didn't what? expect it from. Exactly. Yes, and, and that's what it's about. And, and, you know, you must always realize that there's a person inside there and a person can achieve more than where he is at the moment and maybe we can help him just yeah. to step up. Absolutely. Atiam, siagbonge. Yeah, we say hala hala, you know, and thank you very much. And thanks to you uh, uh, also, uh, Vic. We, we truly, truly appreciate it. I hope it's with Shinjimpilo Yakuga. Cool. And you must tell all your other buddies that you, uh, in life, if you do the right thing. Ne?
Thank you, man. What um, do you want to see, Vic, as, as you conclude? Yes, I, I would also like to say, you know, there's so much good going around in South Africa yeah. at this moment in time. And, and for me, especially, and I didn't expect it, the reaction of the community, the local community and the people that saw him on the street and the people that knew him, uh, and the amount of positiveness, the amount yes. of love that's come out. So, yeah, what I would like to say to him is his life is in his hands. Yeah. Uh, he's got the opportunity. Mm. It's up to him. That's true. And he's got all the support that he needs. Thank you, man. You get all the support, Otiam. And so, you have all the support. Eh? You brought one of your colleagues. Otiam, I'll ask you for one minute. Uh, what's your name? My name is Innocent Mputi. Umani? Innocent Mputi. Innocent. Yeah. Uh, you've been working with uh, 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 with uh, Spongsene for a bit now. So, Ukraine? Yes, too much. Yes. I acted to him. I have no customer. And the worst part of it, the first day, the time I called the service is here. Yeah. My customers, I put my mood to him, just go to you. Don't know what's going on. We are caught over you. Hey, yes. well, I'm born, I'm born. I'm born. I'm A lot of because maybe you, my four to five, I must have started to take tears out. Yes, okay, like, yes. You are not the robot anymore. You are here. You are here now. Because we are the same robot. Hey. Mind is working. Yeah, we are proud of you and all that. Now my tips are. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them my tips <laughs> right, man. They are born. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. I think he's, he's already got his customer base. He does. <laughs> he's people who prefer getting help from you, eh? Absolutely. I say to you, work hard, Otiam. Kubega, you'll, you'll be fine. Because uh, this story was uncovered by our station manager, who uh, uh, Mom says, says Hazel. And she immediately called me and said, we have to do something about this. We can't just let a story like this go to waste. Uh, we have to share it with our listeners and make them aware that there's a lot of good that happens around us. And there's a lot of help where we find people like yourselves getting their life changed so much. And we appreciate it. Ne? Good luck and congratulations. Eh? Thank you, Vic. You've done well. Yeah, Vic Kempfer is the MD of, um, what do you call your, it's a Volvo and engine. Yeah, the, the Tom Kempfer Motors, which is my dad's name. It's yes. a, a Volvo engine. Oakland Park. Yes, yes, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thanks wow. so much for having us. What a story. What a story.